Welcome back to more Triangle Strategy. Serenoa making a valiant stand in defense of the Roselin village slays Silvio Tellior. Word of their disobedience reaches the Holy One, who sends an army to conquer the heretics. With the enemy only a day's march from their doorstep, House Wolfort and the Roselle scramble to mount one last stand. Time is of the essence. Chapter 12, In the Still of the Night. Sarah Noah wonders what recourse is left for them knowing not much time remains until Hyzant army arrives. Yeah, it's a lot of people. Um, so, the thing lied to me. It said Sir Maxwell should join us in Chapter 11. That did not come to course in either outcome. Unless we're still in Chapter 11, now that I think about it. I just accidentally went to the encampment, didn't I? Oh, you guys look like you're having a fun party time. Hey, yo. You got new shit yet? Oh, thank God. I need all the HP pellets I made. Thank you. You. Trades post. I'm at 156. Oh, I can buy one. I can buy several. Oh my. Yeah, this shouldn't take much. Maybe one day we'll just read all of those. This should be everything he has. Except for the new things. Like, rejuvenate! Wow, I really like that. Hidden reserves. So we have three Medal of Braveries, my dudes. Did we do Roland already? We did. Well, it's time to remote you, Gila. You've earned it, girl. Might I be of service? You always are. Heals what ail you, ails you and mends wounds. Oh, what's her next thing? Initial TP plus and two full turn. <laughs> All right, good old great Irador. Practice makes perfect. Physical counter. And next he will learn on the attack, desperate defense. All right, Corinton. It's time for you to go from a cool name to a lame name. I'm not yet cool satisfied. Outfit. You're not even satisfied. Icy Tomb, and next is Shield of Ice, and... <coughs> oh, God, TP on ice. Jesus. Oh, that's news. So, everybody's a veteran now except for Benedict. Until next time. Dude, the voice I just gave him reminds me of uh, the, the voice from Kaya. Um, what do you got? You got anything new? You got defend the arena. And defend the arena from enemy forces flooding in every direction. You are outnumbered and allowing even one of them to slip through would spell disaster. I don't trust that. The battlefield is a place of chaos. 
with friend and foe fighting for their lives, regroup your forces and fell the enemy within the time limit. Within the time limit? What? Why time limit? Um... Let me see. Here's what I'm doing. I'm looking at the people who need upgraded. <laughs> Azure Crystal. And we'll do that one. You're a door. Indestructible stone. Is there anybody else? No. Because you're spider silk. Alright. Do your indestructible stone. <laughs> it only takes one, so sure. And what are you? Leather, which I have two of. That's fine then. We'll upgrade you to two. And we'll upgrade you to two. That just leaves U3, and I don't care to do U3. What is U? Silver? Alright. So this is saying I can only do Benedict Frederica. Who I can do a magic defense of, huh? I can do Gila. Same thing. I can do her for an accuracy. I can do good old dear boy here. Basically the same thing. And nobody else. Except Medina. We'll just do her one. Sure. What the hell is it saying we can do with Nar? Oh, it's saying we can do that because he takes a crystal. Sure, might as well. I can always grind money off screen. I'm not that worried about it. So that was eventful. I mean, the only thing else I can do in here is the mock battles, but I don't want to really try those yet because I don't even know if we're in, like a new chapter or not. I guess it's an easy way to figure that out. System, save. Um. Oh yeah, it did say we were. Chapter 12 in the Still of Night. Nothing else going on. Alright. So that's the size of it. House Wolfort has gone to such great lengths for us. It was our decision and ours alone. Your people brought nothing upon us. It is as Saranoa says. <sighs> we are happy to do all that we can to protect you. Forgive me, Lady Frederica, but your mother was Lady Orlea, was she not? Oh, I guess we get to hear you this came time. came to our rescue just as she did. I cannot help but feel it was fated to be so. You knew my mother? Where did you hear of this, Jerome? I've told you not a whit about her. I overheard whispers between my mother and father long ago. Why would the elders labor to keep such information secret? Ah, uh, well, truth be told, we feared being persecuted anew. 
And so your greatest fears have come true. Pray, hide no longer, and tell Lady Frederica what you know. You know the history of Heizan's oppression of the Rizal, yes? Then you know of the Rizalan revolt that occurred 30 years ago. Your mother, Lady Orlea, led that uprising at the source. She led us to freedom from Heizan's rule, here to the Wolfort Domain. She was a woman of great courage. She even left a sizable gash upon the goddess's statue as we departed. The statue that stands tall in the source. I've never heard tell of this gash. I reckon not. Hyzant would never admit to such a thing. But we, Roselle, know the truth. I had no idea my mother was involved with the revolt, let alone let it. And it was my father who gave them this land to settle. That he did. Lady Orlea, for her part, vowed to fight on, to liberate those who remained in Hyzant. The rest of us, battered and bruised in the escape, parted ways with her and remained here to live out our days in peace. And so she eventually found her way to Esfrost, where she was taken in. I thank you for sharing such a wonderful chapter of my mother's history. I hear she rallied the people to her cause with these words. The Holy State's teachings are false. The Goddess's blessings spread across all Norzelia. The blessing of the true Goddess. The blessing that shall be the key to the chains that bind our people. How much of this have you heard? Hold. I beg you, recite those words once more. The Holy State's teachings are false. The Goddess's blessings spread across all Norzelia. The blessing of the true Goddess. The blessing that shall be the key to the chains that bind our people. So there exists a key that gives the lie to the Goddess's teachings. With that in hand, we can yet confront Hyzant. Pray tell, good elder. What might it look like? <clears throat> Alas, I fear I do not know. I know not to what they were referring, but my parents always said Lady Orlea left it in this village. Then the key is here. Jerome, please. We would speak with your parents at once. I'm afraid that's not possible. They both passed many moons ago. We must find this key, Lord Serenoa. I know it sounds like a fool's errand, but I feel we have no other choice. I agree. It is a slight hope, but hope nonetheless. Let the search begin. <sighs> Old man not happy. But that's fine. We know the key is in the village, but precisely what form it takes still eludes. I need more information. If the key does indeed remain in the village, I will find it. I must. What would mother trying what was mother trying to say? Sarah Noah. We have to find that key. Yee, yeah, I know. Ooh. Dude, getting so many HP pellet recoveries, that's nice. Whenever I look at my children, I am reminded that we cannot bow to Hyzant's demands. Yeah, sorry about that in an alternate timeline where I uh, <clears throat> try to give you up. I know we mean to search the village, but what are we searching for? That, that is definitely the question. <gasps> Kitty cat! No, oh, come on. There we go. With Orlea's key in hand, we may at long last land a grievous blow against Tyson. We must speak with the other villagers and learn what, what they know of it. 
That's not what I wanted, but whatever. Anything special or unusual in the village? Not that I've ever heard of. There are a number of objects within the village that could qualify as the key we are looking for. Is that where you're just going to leave it? Ooh, silver. No. Get down, Jesus, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Is the legend so old it's been forgotten? Or is someone keeping something from us? Could leave us no choice but to upend the whole village in our search. I cling to the thought that Lady Orlea's last grand, great hope for us lay in this very village. I wish it to be true from the bottom of my heart. <clears throat> Something special in the village? If what you seek is old, the Elder may know of it. Yeah, we already asked him. You're looking for something old. I seem to recall some, seeing a rather old-looking mirror behind the Elder's house. It was quite brilliant all those years ago, but I'm sure it's rested over by now. The Rizel have a long, dark history of being oppressed, and I reckon they're none too happy about outsiders like us remind them of it. I stop. Mommy and Daddy are really upset. I'm scared. Don't you? Sarah, know it. Did not tell you to climb that ladder, young man. Anything special? Well, there is a pelt in Jerome's abode that his parents were quite fond of. Hmm. Oh, it's just another ladder. Never mind. Never mind. Where's the sparkle then? I saw the sparkle. Ah. Uh, superior iron. Wait. Ah, I hate this. We should seek out anyone who knows the legend of Rizal. That will be our best chance at finding the key. Thank you for that sage-like wisdom, my friend. I mean, I've heard of... It's an old resting mirror. Ah, yes. That's the one. Wait, wait a moment. I'll polish it for you. There, isn't it? There, isn't it beautiful? My word, the designs on the this mirror are exquisite. I had no idea the rest had such splendor. Perhaps this mirror is the key that will show us the way forward. But the pink mirror. Um, then they said something about a, p a pelt. Yeah, that was rude. But I can't. First, let's just talk to these guys. We just want to live our lives. Why must we be chased to the ends of the earth? You did this. This is all your fault. Okay. I, I protected you. Why are you blaming me? Feel your pain, but I only need to know if Lady Orlea left anything behind. It may help us achieve peace. Not so. We are all confronting the results of the resilient uprising from 30 years ago. You will never know how sorry I am that we cannot protect you. I beg you, gather your things and go. Like, bro, get over it and just help. Yeah, I mean, jeez. 
All I had to do was help. Everybody else was helpful. Oh, come on. This looks like a kid. What are you looking for, sir? Is it treasure? Oh, yes. I am on a treasure hunt. And you... Are you playing hide-and-seek? I'm looking for something that can help everyone in the village. I'm sorry for causing such commotion. I, I hear there's something critical in the village. <clears throat> mm, it's a secret, but if you promise not to tell anyone, it's hidden in my desk drawer. I call it my secret sweet store, and I'm going to eat it all when nobody's looking. Is that so? Well, thank you for telling me. You have my word that I shan't tell another soul. That wasn't, that wasn't serious. And in the manner that it's going to help. Alright, it looks like there's a shiny right here. Ooh, an Azure Crystal. That could get rolling to tier 3. Of his weapon. Maybe somebody else. I don't know how many people take a zero crystal. I'm assuming anybody that uses silver would use it. I know nothing of any key. And you'll find nothing of any port in my home. We took such great pains to flee the source. Yet our past continues to haunt us. Perhaps we were tainted after all. Uh, is this not the rug the game was telling me about? Hmm. You sure? There's a lot of rugs in here. Somebody's telling me about a rug. Maybe that... Maybe there's another house with another entrance? I think... Yeah, I see a door right there. I've never seen a pelt this color before. Before... Perhaps it is the one Jerome's parents took such a liking to. Perhaps the belt is the key that will show us the way forward. Pink mirror and a pink pelt. Um, that seems to be everything. You've learned all you can about the pink belt. That is hilarious. Game's like, stop. Stop touching it. You've learned everything about the belt that you can. Come on out. Perhaps this mirror is the key that will show us the way forward. You learned all you can about the pink mirror. Is that it? I think that's it. You were like, nada. You were like, you're an asshole. Child told me about sweets. You said your parents were scared. I think you were the mirror? person bro he told me nothing and you're just like go talk to the elder <clears throat> and then you come in here and talk to me he's like yep no nothing I'm assuming that's it. It's just the pellet in the mirror. Usually there's three, but whatever. Elder, for the sake of the Roselle, I've come to speak with you about the key. Lord Serenoa, I am not one to speak in metaphor and code. I bid you tell me precisely what it is you seek. There was a third one? This game is so dumb. 
I talk to everyone. I talk. I... What the hell is the third option? This is bothering me. Wait, what? Oh, I messed up. Nope, oh, I messed up. Uh... So yeah, I messed up. <clears throat> Um, I knew it. I knew it. It does have to do with the elder. I just never thought to talk to Benedict again. Bro, who cares? Just low game. Gee. Stop being so dumb. By the way, chapter 12, 13, and 14, I believe all three of these chapters have no um, implications in... Did I say before or after? Doing all this stuff. Well, I guess I could have looked at my money. Yeah, I did it all. I did this and then saved. I'm, I'm not as dumb as I think I am sometimes. All right. So. We already watched this. The pelt, and. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, let's just talk to everyone real fast. I mean, we've already done that. But just so it's out of the way with and the game registers that we've done it. And plus, you know, it does this. It gives us our conviction. Oh. Are they upset and scared? Do do do. Oh. What are you looking for, sir? Is it treasure? Uh. Let's do the top one. Hmm, but I don't know if there's any treasure in our village. Unless, are you looking for me? Mommy and Daddy sometimes call me the bestest treasure. Well, that's certainly right about that. Unfortunately, I don't believe you're the treasure I'm looking for. Cute. Cute. Alright, time to talk to the, uh... No, why are you? I did not say climb the ladder. 
I gotta talk to the ungrateful asshole. Who feels bad afterwards. Yeah, let's just do the first one. I like it when they feel bad. Alright. Time to come up here. Oh my god. Alright, now we've talked to him and... <clears throat> Why do I got to turn away from the mirror? It doesn't. But nice thought. Alright, time to go in Jerome's home. I'm a little upset that Jerome doesn't have any hidden items in his house. Never mind, he does. I'm an idiot. My memory is short. Is that it? What do you mean? I've talked to the person. Oh no, wait. There's somebody I did not talk to. I forgot about you. What? Would you get down? Jesus. There we go. We talked to the cat. <laughs> and that is all you can learn from that. It's a red heron. I know nothing! <laughs> Preferably while he's away. What? Um. Oh, Jerome. <clears throat> did I talk to you? I think I did. No. Oh, Frederica, maybe? Okay. It would seem the Elder did have something to hide. Perhaps this rock will be the key that will show us the way forward. You learned all you can about the pink rock. Stop looking at it. That is what the game is telling us. All right. Now we can end the exploration. Oh my god. Elder, for the sake of the Roselle, I've come to speak with you about the key. Lord Serenoa, I am not one to speak in metaphor and code. 
I bid you tell me precisely what it is you see. Oh, you're the one hiding something, not me. What's up with that pink rock, bud? Could this pink rock be the key? Where did you find that? So it is the key. What do you know of it? Clearly I can deceive you no longer. I shall tell you everything. Why would you deceive me when your whole entire bloodline is on the line? Or, well, freedom. What is this strange pink rock? A simple taste shall tell you all you need to know. My word, it, it tastes of salt. No, it, it is salt. Truly, a rock of salt. Indeed, it is. And the story behind it is a long one. This crystal before you was brought here by Lady Olair. My mother brought this? And you knew of this the whole time, Elder? Yes, but the seeds of conflict ought not to be left in the sun where they are apt to grow. That was our decision. Are there any other crystals like this? There are. Lady Orlea spoke of a repository rife with salt, hidden somewhere in Norselia. And where might that somewhere be? Unfortunately, I do not know. And I feared the knowledge passed with Lady Orlea herself. Do you know anything about this, Lady Frederica? Anything at all? Did your mother ever mention these crystals to you before? It is imperative that you remember. I apologize, but this is my first time hearing of them as well. Calm yourself, Benedict. You're scaring the lass. Calm myself? The very existence of this crystal changes the nature of our realm as we know it. If you have ever wondered why Hazant oppresses the Roselle or confines them to the source, this is your answer. So they did it all to hide the existence of the repository and monopolize salt. And not just that, anyone who finds that repository could reign over all Norzelia. Would it really have so great an influence? Salt is a divine boon, a gift from the goddess to her true believers. It is one of Hyzant's fundamental beliefs, one that due to their monopoly on both salt and the source, has appeared true all these years. But no longer. With this crystal alone, we can prove their doctrine false. Revealing their absolute teachings to be mere fabrications would shake Hyzant to its very core. There may be hope for us yet. A report, my lord. Hyzant's army is on the horizon. Lord Serenoa, if you would, I should like to be the one to speak to them. Of course, Benedict. I leave the matter in your capable hands. Lord Saranoa, how unfortunate it is for us to meet under such circumstances. But for disobeying the Holy One's order, I must strike you down. Before that, Minister Exham, there is something we wish to show you. It is a mere fragment of something we have discovered in this village. It is a crystal made entirely of salt. What madness is this you speak? A 
surface is salt indeed. But how is this possible? It appears to have been passed down among the Roselle, and in a quantity large enough to rival the source. Unbelievable. Perhaps so, but we have proof. Salt can be found in places other than the sacred grounds beneath the goddess's feet. I am certain the implications do not escape you. What is it that you want? An audience with the Holy One. And a guarantee of safety for us and everyone in this village. It would be a waste to dispose of both the Crystal and House Wolford here. Very well then. I shall secure you an audience with the Holy One. And you have my word that the village will be safe from harm. Thank you, Minister. I wish I could see the Holy One's face contorted so. We owe our lives to this. A crystal of salt. Or salt crystal, shall we call it? The Holy State's teachings are false. The Goddess's blessings spread across all Norzelia. The blessings of the true Goddess. The blessing that shall be the key to the chains that bind our people. Can you imagine if crystals like this were hidden beneath the surface of Norzelia? I cannot imagine Hyzant being blind to their existence. Salt is the lifeblood of their nation. Agreed. Which leads me to believe that they have relentlessly oppressed the Roselle to hide it. You intend to negotiate with the Holy One, then? Correct. This time, we shan't fail. Not with this salt crystal in our hands. Hyzant will swear its support to us. If their teachings are truly false, could you not ask them to free the Rizal at the source? That is a risk we cannot afford to take. Our first priority is rebuilding Wolfort. Without it, we cannot even hope to protect our own Rosellan village. I do hope you understand. I see. I suppose you are right. And what will you do once granted those privileges, Benedict? What will I do? I tire of being made to decide like this time and time again. Don't you, Saranoa? I do. Our choices grow ever harder, each time piercing me deeper. It's time we decide what to do for ourselves. I wish to reclaim Glenbrook. With Hyzant beside us, we can defeat us, Frost. So when we meet, I will ask the Holy State to go to war with us. House Wolford protects the Roselle in defiance of the Holy One's orders. Hyzant sends an army to punish Wolford for their disobedience. Cornered though they may be, Serenoa and his comrades discover a crystal of salt hidden in the Rosellan village. Benedict leverages its very existence in negotiations with the opposing General Exum and succeeds. The crystal holds the power to change not only Hyzant, but the entire land of Norzelia. With it in hand, Sarah Noah goes to meet the Holy One. It still boggles my mind about how integral and important salt is in this world. Truly, it boggles my mind. It baffles me. It's time to see what goes on in Hierophant's palace. As Sarah Noah uses the discovery of the salt crystal to gain an audience with the Hierophant. Well, I mean, I guess Sarah Noah did do that, but Benedict would be the one talking. We granted you an audience because of Minister Exam's petition, but I did not expect you to show us this. 
A crystal made of salt. How very fascinating. It certainly does contradict the doctrine here in our blessed land. Or it would, were it real. Have you any proof that this was not created by magic or technology? Well... With all due respect, Minister, I have a question for you in return. What do you think of Asfrost and Glenbrook's decree to stop trade with Hyzant? I think it nothing more than a threat. Neither would last very long without our salt. Gustadoff is no fool. Such an edict would not come without proper countermeasures in place. Countermeasures such as another source of salt, for example. Having their own salt would make Hyzant's redundant at best, and your nation would soon find itself in dire straits without the salt tax's revenue. What is it you want from us? Your full support. Lend us your strength, and together we can defeat Esfrost, and High Zant's ties to all nations will remain intact. You mean to start a war. The Kingdom of Glenbrook may be naught but a puppet now, but it was once your homeland. You understand this, yes? We do. Even so, my people do not wish for war. We must try to resolve this peacefully first. Do you think Gustav can be reasoned with? Need I remind you that it was he who invaded Glenbrook? He is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Be that as it may, neither my people nor soldiers will accept it as a reason to go to war. Then I shall give you one. For I am the second son of King Regna. Roland Glenbrook. You live. There is no mistaking that face. Huh. So the prince lives to slay his kingdom's invader. We could not ask for a better reason. If you need a just cause to go to war, let it be me. We must stop Gustadolf. <laughs> It all makes sense now. Oh, Holy One, have you heard? Pray, tell me what you would have us do. It shall be done. Wolfort, Prince Roland, heed the words of the Holy One. The Holy State of Hyzant stands with you. The Holy One would see you defeat Esfrost and restore peace to Norzelia. Our nation shall spare no effort in your fight against Gustadolf. From this day forth, we support Prince Roland as our commander and Lord Serenoa as one of the saintly seven. Me? A saint? We are brethren now. We ride to war together. Well, would you look at that? We secured Hyzant's support, and you even got yourself named one of the Saintly Seven. We also received a signed document stating the Roselle and Wolford are left in our care. Good going, lad. Oh, it is Benedict and Roland to whom we owe this victory. Everyone here has suffered so much on my behalf. My weakness and worthlessness have brought pain and misfortune to you all. And for that, I must apologize. You've got nothing to apologize for. I already told you. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. I've decided that I must press forward. Even if it means crawling forth on my hands and knees. I ask for your support as always. I know I will need it. And you shall have it. I am with you every step of the way, my lord. <sighs> Is something the matter, Frederica? No. My apologies for worrying you. Now, 
to battle. We take back Glenbrook with our own hands. Oh my. White Home Castle. Is that it? The saintly seven discussed their earlier counsel and the possibilities on the horizon. <laughs> you mean the saintly six? Clearly, Sarah knows not in that conversation. Or is he? Huh. I could be wrong. Did you know about this salt crystal exam? No. Neither did I know of Prince Roland's survival. I thought he had perished. Likewise, what did you make of the Holy One's decree? Hyzant is a grand nation, but unfortunately not one blessed with a bountiful harvest of anything other than salt. Were we not able to trade, there is no doubt our nation would wither to naught. We have relied solely on salt for much too long, and that reality was made painfully clear to us. <laughs> Harsh words, but true nonetheless. Do you think we can triumph over Esfrost? Mark my words, Minister Camso. There is no fight Exham Marshal cannot win. The Holy One has ordered for us to deliver our Elfric to House Wolfwart. And here I thought your research results to be top secret. What a curious turn of events. Perhaps the Hierophant determined it a good chance to test them in the field. They could easily sink in as frosty ship or two. And yet I see not a trace of a smile on you. I never wanted to build weapons for war. <laughs> Yet you don't think twice about toying with human life. How ironic. How dare you! Have a wonderful day. The audacity of Edor's dog. Are you certain it's wise to return to Esfrost alone, Your Grace? You are needed here. If Sikris's missive is to be believed, I'm afraid matters are far too grave to be left to anyone else. Svarog's deception is nearing its climax. His ill-gotten profits are being used to build a weapon of untold destructive power. Our anonymous source from the manufactory hinted at as much. Svarog is bold to have carried out his plan this far. Death Snell? What's that? Let the adult speak, my dear. If we're to be wed, then there should be trust between us. How long do you intend on treating me like a child? Very well. Tell her, Thalos. If you insist, brother, this weapon combines the powerful explosives developed by a Dragan with Esfrost's mastery of steelcraft. Although yet to be tested, this cannon is said to have the power to breach even Hyzon's walls. The goddess's shield would buckle under a single blast. But the shield is impregnable. 
I have heard nothing of this. Do you think so little of your general? A general is to win me victory, as and when I command it. <sighs> Svarog's intent isn't to bring Hyzant to heal, however. He means to use the cannon against Brother. But the fool was so blinded by ambition that he never saw the strings guiding his every deed. Fool that he may be, he served his purpose well. The cannon could not have been made without his engineers and Dragan's research. He will die secure in the knowledge that his bloodline contributed to the glory of Esfrost. Sadly, he shall not live to see his work completed. With it, we shall do what our forebears could not. The goddess's shield shall yield before Esfrost's might and ingenuity. If we can even approach the walls, brother, the trade embargo will ensure that Hyzant is especially wary of our actions. On the contrary, their focus will turn inward. With not else to leverage their influence with, they will take measures to see that none of their precious salt escapes their borders. There may be some gnashing of teeth, to be sure, but it will only be in an attempt to hide their inner turmoil. Erika, muster of force, and march to the Hierophant's palace at once. Deliver to Hyzant my final demands. As you wish, brother. I shall gather what news I can of the Saintly Seven's machinations. Thalus, you will remain in Glenbrook. Conduct yourself as if I had never left. You hardly need to ask, brother. That is all. Now go. Even his own flesh and blood are but tools to be used and then discarded when their purpose is served. He has faith only in himself. Such has ever been his way. Was that all of chapter 12? Just... talk? A political intrigue? I'm afraid to press B, man. Oh, what if... What if... Um... You know what, for right now, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to end the episode off here. I hope, <laughs> hope you have a great day. Remember, you could be the best you you could possibly be. If you like the video, give it a like. Comment if you're the super special awesome. Subscribe if you haven't. That would really help me out. And ta-ta. For now.